Hi and welcome to this video lecture on the topic of Clausius inequality. In the previous lecture we studied about entropy as a property of the system and we talked about the Clausius theorem and in this we will look at Clausius inequality which gives us a criterion for uh, cycles reversibility or irreversibility. If you focus your attention to this diagram this is a plot between temperature and volume okay and these red lines these red lines they indicate reversible adiabatics so these red lines are reversible adiabatic processes okay and this is a constant temperature line T2 okay and now we consider a cycle let us consider a cycle that is a b c d now a b c d and then again on to a right now in this cycle let me take any process this is the process that i'm taking this is process a b so this is let a b b any process by any process i mean that a b can be reversible or it can be irreversible as well okay and on the other hand uh, my uh, other processes that is process b c uh, process a d these processes are my reversible processes in the cycle that is a b c d right now if i say that my heat rejection takes takes place at temperature t2 and if you are if you look at the process from a to b i can clearly see that the heat addition is not at a constant temperature it is at different temperatures so let me take uh, an elementary cycle and that elementary cycle is uh, to, okay, to, to take that elementary cycle I would draw and uh, you know a straight line like this okay these kind of lines so these lines these straight lines are constant temperature lines which indicate that your heat addition is taking place at constant temperature so this is dq the heat added and the heat rejected is dq okay so these straight lines are just drawn to assume that during this process during this process the heat is added at constant temperature okay now let us take this elementary cycle this is the elementary cycle I would take for my analysis right now for this cycle if you take DQ this is the heat that is added at temperature capital T and if you say DQ2 this is the heat rejected at temperature T2 so these are your denominations now if you look at the efficiency of this cycle that is in this cycle the efficiency can be written as 1 minus heat rejected that is DQ2 by dq now this is the efficiency of this cycle right now if you let's move on to the next slide now we all know that the efficiency that we just wrote that was 1 minus d dash q by d da dq2 this is the efficiency of any general cycle the cycle can be any kind of cycle it can be irreversible also it can be reversible also okay now if you make it reversible okay, then eta reversible this is 1 minus dq by dq2 this is for reversible cycle now we know that the efficiency of any cycle is less than or equal to the efficiency of the reversible cycle now this is something 
that will help us to uh, reach the Clausius inequality. Okay, so the efficiency of any cycle is less than or equal to efficiency of a reversible cycle. If I plug in the values, respective values, I would get the value for eta is 1 minus dq by dq. Okay, this is a bit wrong. Let me go back to the previous slide. Okay, this is dq2 over here. So this is uh, in the next slide. This is dq2 and this is only dq. dq2 and this is only dq. So this is dq2 by q. This is less than or equal to 1 minus dq2 by dq. Reversible. Okay. Now if I were to subtract the ones from both the sides, I would be left with minus dq2 by dq less than equal to minus dq2 by dq and that is to reversible. Okay. If I take care of these negative signs, the inequality would get reversed. So you would get dq2 by dq greater than equal to dq2 by dq reversible. So this is what you get. Okay, if I were to take reciprocal of this, the reciprocal of this would become uh, dq by dq2 this will become less than or equal to dq by dq2 reversible so this is an expression that should be uh, you know remembered or noted down moving on to the next slide we looked at in the previous slide that the relation that we have got is dq by dq2 is less than or equal to dq by dq2 for a reversible cycle okay now for a reversible cycle for a reversible cycle okay the ratio between the heat added and heat rejected this is equal to the ratio of uh, temperatures at which heat is added and rejected that is the concept of absolute temperature scale okay now if you plug this value here you would get dq by dq2 is less than equal to t by t2 isn't it this is what you would get okay and now what i can do i can bring this t on the other side and this dq2 on this side so i would be left with dq by t less than equal to dq2 by t2 so this is a relation that would be you know that i would get okay now this relation is for any kind of a process for any process a b this is for any process a b but now if i make my process reversible now for a reversible process a b right what will happen the change in entropy would be equal to dq reversible by t the dq reversible t will become equal to dq2 by t2 okay this means this part is equal to ds in case of a reversible process okay and this if we take this forward let me uh, go on to the other slide and if you plug this value that is ds of dq2 by t2 and you put it here for any process that is ab i would get dq by t less than or equal to ds this is the expression that i'm looking for okay this is for any process 
a b now if i take into account any cycle let me go on to the next page now the expression that i've just got is dq by t is less than equal to ds now this is for a process a b this uh, any kind of process if i take into account any cycle okay so for a cycle i would put a cyclic integral sign in front of it and this is what i will get integral ds okay now as i know that entropy is a property of the system then this value for a cycle is zero so the value that i get is integral dq by t is less than equal to zero okay this means clausius inequality this is this 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 uh, expression that is known as clausius inequality now this provides a criterion for the reversibility of a cycle okay how how it provides a criteria for reversibility of a cycle now in generally in in general terms for any kind of a cycle this is the case that is integral dq by t is less than equal to zero if first case is if this integral is equal to zero and the cycle in question is a reversible cycle second if the integral dq by t is less than zero then the cycle in question is an irreversible cycle and is a possible cycle okay now the third case is if your cyclic integral of dq by t becomes greater than zero then this kind of a cycle then this kind of a criteria this becomes an impossible cycle that is a cycle cannot take place if this is the condition in a clausius inequality okay so this was all about clausius inequality and before i end this uh, a point that is worth noting is that this uh, analysis was from the point of view of a heat engine a heat engine that is which is uh, you know accepting heat and rejecting heat at two different temperatures these points should be noted for objective question point of view that is when uh, a cycle is reversible when it is rever irreversible and possible and when it is impossible now in the next video lecture i would start off by looking at the uh, principle of increase of entropy for an isolated system and we we'll look at some applications of the entropy principle so till the next video have a good day bye bye